Hey, uh, so today I will show you four different ways you can connect your GitHub Actions to receive the notifications in Slack. So first, um, let's talk about GitHub Actions. If you're here, I'm sure you know what GitHub Actions are. They're a good way to uh, receive your CI CD um, and to run them from GitHub directly as it connects on your code. And it, GitHub will be able to run customized CI CD workflow and run them for you and tell you if it passes or if it didn't pass, which is pretty handy. Um, we found two main alternatives to receive GitHub action in Slack. First of all, it's uh, a notification for each GitHub action. So for that, we found two different GitHub action. One of them is Slack notify. The other one is action Slack. I will present them to you or you can even build, build your own. I will uh, link you to the doc so you can find how how to do that. And then you can use Axolo. It's a software we developed to summarize them for each pull request. Let's look at Axolo in more detail. So Axolo um, will create a new Slack channel for every pull request so that every event can be sent to Slack and everything that happens in Slack can be sent to GitHub. So you can have conversations and you can receive GitHub actions and uh, CI CD in general. So let's look at that in more details. So for each pull request, it will create a, an ephemeral Slack channel. That means that whenever you close or merge your pull request, it will archive the Slack channel. And you can receive all the updates in this channel, like actions, deployment, and code, code comments. Um, and you will all also be alerted if you have new conflicts. Let's look at uh, our Slack to see how it works. So here I've created a pull request before. Uh, let's look at this. So here I've created that uh, pull request earlier. We can see that all the bookmarks are the same as the bookmarks here, and they get updated whenever you update it. And the checks are the checks that I've passed here. And if they didn't pass, I will get a red cross emoji here. And Axolo has been kind enough to send us a, a notification saying which test passed. And uh, I can directly click on them and it will take me right to the right place. Um, so that's it for Axolo. Um, the fund, I'm, the, I'm one of the founders, so if you have any question, feel free to ask them in the comment. Now let's look at uh, the different ways. So you have Slack Notify. It's, it's been created by RT Camp. It has a few stars. Uh, so let's look at it. This is their GitHub uh, repository. So this is a GitHub action you can set up on your own. It's open source. It's completely free. Um, it's quite handy. You can uh, customize a lot of things. Uh, I think that, yeah an image showing what you can customize. You can customize everything here. Uh, so it's, it's pretty handy. <coughs> I think the, the API is, is well documented with what you can do. Um, and it's pretty active. You can see the last time it was updated, it was seven months ago. Um, and some is issues and pull requests are being raised. So you can probably contribute to that as well. Then you have Action Slack. Uh, so here's a GitHub uh, action that you can install directly. There are a lot of contributors. Um, the nice thing is with this one is that uh, they support GitHub Enterprise. I think the downside of using those tools is that uh, you have one channel for all the GitHub actions that are happening in your uh, company. And that can be a bit noisy. I mean, you can create one per repository, but if a lot of uh, developers are working on a, on your repository and there's pull requests coming every day, uh, this can be noisy and then ignored. The nice thing with Axolo is that you get a channel per pull request and it only invites the right people in there. And then last but not least, you can develop your own uh, system to send notification. If you don't have Slack and you're using Discord or if you want a custom workflow. Um, here's the documentation. I would advise to read it through. 
uh, it's well made having worked on this a little bit uh, you can find everything that you need so that's it uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask I'd be happy to help if you want to build your own or if you have any questions uh, working on this uh, we will be watching out for the comments all right bye bye